Now in this video we're going to talk about getting backlinks to our sites. Of course we need to get backlinks in order to move up the search engines. Now one thing I do want to point out is the beauty of what we're doing here is we're targeting, um, if you did the keyword research right, we're targeting low competition terms. So we're not going to have to do you know, a ton of really aggressive backlinking because again we're going against uh, pretty uh, small competition terms. Um, so I'm going to give you some great backlink sources here. Um, in most cases, in most of the sites I've built, uh, this is enough to get you ranked. Now in some cases you will need to do more or continue to do it month after month, uh, but these I'm going to show you here are a great place um, to go out and get your backlinks. So first off, the number one place to get started is with article submission. So um, a couple of the top ones I always try to submit to are eZine articles, Go articles, and articles base. Um, articles base actually no follows um, their links in most cases and that is not something I worry about because when we're trying to optimize for the search engines we want to look as natural as possible so if you think about it is it natural for a website to have 100 percent of its links be do follow um, absolutely not so you wanna you know there's nothing wrong with getting no follow links in my opinion um, they do count uh, maybe not as much as a uh, do follow link, uh, but it's not something I avoid at all because it just looks natural. And if you're not familiar with do follow or no follow, then don't even worry about it. Um, so I always make sure and submit an article to eZine, Go Articles, and Articles Base. Um, one thing I want to point out is I would submit unique content to each of these three. So submit a different article to each. Um, and they're a great place to get you know your first links kind of out and going. Then we have second tier article directories and there is literally hundreds and hundreds of them. Um, so I'm not going to give a list. What I usually like to do is if you go to fiverr.com and just do a search for um, article submission or something like that, there's plenty of services out there that will, or plenty of people on there that will submit your article to the second tier directories. Uh, now a couple things to point out when we do article submissions of course you get a little resource box where you can put a link back to your site you want to make sure you're using an anchor text that is for the keyword you're trying to rank for of course uh, but another thing is you want to vary that anchor text you don't want to have a hundred links and they all be the exact same anchor text again that doesn't look natural um, it looks like over optimization and it's not going to help you so make sure you're always varying your anchor text um, just putting kind of related terms in there, any variations you found during your keyword research. Um, so again, you do want to vary those. You don't want to keep using the same anchor, anchor text over and over and over. But again, to get started, I would submit an article to Ezine Articles, Go Articles, and Articles Base. Um, three different articles um, and different anchor text on all of those. And I usually, you know, when you're first getting started, it's a good idea to do article submissions every single week. Um, it's a great place to get links from. Um, a benefit is a lot of these sites get a lot of traffic so people will actually read your articles and then click over to your site so you get traffic that way and you get the SEO benefit um, then after you've done those um, and you wait a little bit then I would go ahead and start submitting some to the second tier directories um, you don't want to do a gigantic blast because again we want to build links slowly over time um, but again Fiverr is a great place to start utilizing the second tier ones um, and the, and my list of eZine articles, Go articles, and articles base isn't a definitive list. It's just three I like to use. Um, there's a lot of other what I would call tier one article directories, um, but they change so rapidly. Um, I'm just going to list those three because those three have been good for quite some time. After that, another powerful tool to use is a tool called Unique Article Wizard. And what this basically does is you put in an article and then you put in uh, we basically put in three variations of an article and then they'll kind of mix up which paragraph they use. Uh, if you never use them, don't worry about it, they explain it all. Um, but it works very, very good and then they go out and then they kind of submit those articles um, to a bunch of different sites. And it's a great way to get a bunch of backlinks. Um, again, this is something I would do um, <clears throat> after you've done your tier one articles, you know, get some links flowing in and then start using Unique Article Wizard. Um, and again, you want to use these slowly. You don't want to blast a ton of links right off the bat. But again, with Unique Article Wizard, vary your anchor text. Um, it's also a good idea to not always use a keyword as your anchor text. So feel free to use um, your actual URL as the anchor text. Again, that just looks normal. 
um, or even use words like click here, more information, or maybe like the official name of your site. You want to be varying that. Um, some people think if they use if they're trying to optimize for a keyword and they use that keyword in every single link, it's going to help them rank faster. It's actually the opposite. Um, you're going to actually do harm by not varying your anchor text. Again, you want to be doing that. With Unique Article Wizard, it's also a good idea to spin the article. Um, and a great tool is the best spinner. I use the best spinner basically all the time to spin content. Um, a couple pointers on that. They have an auto spin feature that will automatically spin your article. The problem is when you um, the articles you get out sometime, sometimes aren't that high quality and you really don't want to be submitting junk out there. Google is really cracking down on that kind of stuff. So what I like to do is I spin whole sentences. Um, so you have a sentence, then just rewrite that entire sentence. Um, it's a better way to spin because you get readable, um, good content. Um, you don't end up with kind of unreadable junk. Um, so again, Unique Article Wizard, start using that, and I, of course, spin those with the best spinner. Um, another great one to use is a press release. Um, what you basically do is, you might think, well, my site, you know, how do I write a press release for my site? Well, actually, the sites we're creating work great because um, what you can do is, for example, I could write a press release about um, the site I was using and say, um, best sleeping bags review or best sleeping bags dot com releases its rankings of the top three sleeping bags. Um, that's a newsworthy item. Um, and you can go ahead and submit a press release that, for that. Now, press releases do have a format that you want to follow. Um, any service that you use will show you that. One that I like to use is a service called Webwire. What they'll do is you basically put in your press release and then they will distribute it for you. It's a great way um, to get a lot of links and get kind of vary where you're getting anchor text because it's going to show up on a lot of um, news sites and a lot of other random sites will pick it up. Um, press releases are a great way um, to get backlinks back to your site and they are completely natural. You know, every um, large company out there releases press releases. You know, there's really nothing wrong with doing that. So it's a nice safe way to get more links and also to um, extend the um, places where they're coming from. And again, with press releases, same thing goes. Make sure you're varying your anchor text. Don't be afraid to use your actual URL as your um, anchor text. Because again, it just looks natural. So with the press release, I like to use Webwire. There's a lot of services out there, you know, like PR Web is the big dog, but you know, it costs like 300 bucks to submit one. And for this purpose, we just don't need that. Um, so I would submit a press release. Um, you know, right after your site's done, kind of announce that it's launching and that, that and that you've released your rankings of the top three products, and then just write a little press release, submit it. Um, it's a good place to get some links back to your site as well. Another great one are videos. Uh, we all know videos are rapidly taking over the web. Um, so what you can do is, first off, I would create a video that just talks about um, the three products that you rated. Um, you know one two and three just go through those you can make a little PowerPoint presentation like I'm doing here and then just go ahead and submit it to YouTube um, one key that you want to make sure you do is in the description field you want your URL with you know the full URL the HTTP um, as the first thing you put in the description because that is how people will be able to click and get back to your site um, it's also going to get you a backlink as well and from there forward like I would do the video I'm talking about your three top products or however many you did. I would do that right away. And then you can submit, submit additional videos um, with each product you review. And it can basically just be um, you reading through the product review with some you know pictures, what have you. Um, and again, putting your URL. And in those, I would put the URL to that, that post for that exact product review. Um, and then also make sure on your YouTube page, you can put a link back to your site as well. Um, we all know Google loves YouTube, they own them, um, so it's a great place to be getting links from as well. And lastly, there are directories. Now, directories are just basically you submit your site to the directory, um, and the directory just lists you know sites on the web. Uh, these aren't, I wouldn't call these powerful at all. What they are great for is further di diversifying where you're getting your links from. And when I use directories, I would almost always use my URL as the anchor text because again I hate to you know, be redundant here but we want to be varying our anchor text um, and making it look natural so having links that point back to your site with just your URL as the actual anchor text um, so the actual HTTP semicolon 
um, it just looks natural and it's good to have those to vary your anchor text and directories are a great place to get those um, same thing with directories an easy way to go out and use those are on Fiverr um, very easy um, to find somebody on there to do them for five bucks and they'll submit them um, to directories there's also tools out there but you know nowadays with Fiverr um, really the easiest to use uh, and that that is all you need to be doing for backlink and again we're targeting low competition um, keywords so we don't need a ton of links again kind of the battle plan start with the top tier article directories go ahead and submit an article to each of those um, then you can do some of the second tier ones um, give it a little time let those get found so you have some links back to your site make sure everything's indexed and then I would also use uh, unique article wizard um, submit an article with that and then going forward you can look to use them uh, maybe on more of a monthly basis kind of just monitor your rankings and see if you need more um, links going back um, I would also do the press release right away kind of announcing your top three products uh, again I like to use webwire um, and then videos you can always be doing um, those are never gonna harm anything and remember to be putting your uh, URL in the description and then lastly the directories again just a way to vary your anchor text um, and get get a wider range of backlinks back to your site um, so that is it for backlinks um, go ahead start doing those again I'm gonna pound this this uh, point home make sure you vary your anchor text we want it to look natural and don't be afraid of getting uh, do follow and no follow links it's only gonna look more natural so that is your backlink uh, battle plan go out and start getting your some backlinks monitor your rankings then just keep you know following uh, the process more and more until the rankings um, get onto that first page and up to the top of the rankings.